Hey guys, welcome to another Hunter video. I'm a Night of Hunter on the Whisperwind server, and here I am in Zulgarub, and I'm gonna solo this instance to show you how to do the mount run. Uh, now you need to be in a raid for this, so just grab a friend or someone in your guild and ask them to set up a raid with you, and then after a while they can leave and you can still solo the entire thing. Now, when you're up to the first boss, dismiss your pet and run in. Just because if you aggro some people, then you don't want your pet aggroing them, and without your pet, you could just feign death. So for the first boss, uh, the boss's name is Bloodlord Mandaker, and it'll drop a raptor that you see uh, fighting you right now. Now, it's very important that you don't kill the raptor because it will enrage and most likely you will die once the raptor is dead. Now for this guy, he will start watching someone, and it is a debuff, and during this debuff, if you create any sort of aggro, then he will charge you and do some pretty heavy damage onto you. Now unfortunately, since you're soloing this, you have to do some form of aggro, whether it's attacking or healing. So you just have to try to survive through it, and make sure you save your bestial wrath and your other cooldowns for when he charges you and at the same time he will sometimes fear you and when that happens pop out beast your wrath break out of the fear and continue doing damage make sure you have men pet up at all times now there is really no way to avoid the watching you debuff when he charges you you can be anywhere on the map and he will still come and charge you so the best you can do is just try to survive it. And along with Bestial Wrath, Deterrence is also going to be very important in order to get away some of that damage that he'll put on you. Also, you see that for the majority of the fight, I am as high on top of the tempo here as possible because if I'm too low in the tempo, then he could fear you or your pet into the other mobs around this place and you don't want any more mobs fighting this boss because he is very tough and most likely you will die a few times trying to down this boss for the first time now for this I am in my hunter tanking spec but I'm in my complete DPS set and that's because I don't need as much health because this is a level 60 instance even though it may be raid it doesn't do that much damage to you or your pet you just need the deterrence from the hunter tanking spec in order to survive and so once you kill him kill his little dinosaur and then go for the loot and if you're lucky then you'll be able to get a raptor mount which is I believe 1% or 0.1% drop rate And so, run over to the next boss. And for the next boss, you're trying to farm the Tiger Mount. Now for this area, it's very important that you stay away from the axe throwers. Send your pet in and try to stay at least 30 yards away from the axe throwers because they will have a skill where they will spin around in circles and toss axes at anyone who's within about 25 to 30 yards of them. And when that happens, you will be knocked down and you won't be able to cast. However, if there's two or three of them, they can completely keep you down, away from casting, away from moving, and you're just going to have to wait for your death if that happens. So it's very important that you stay very far away from them and let your pet take most of the damage. And so when you take care of the three groups, you're on to the next boss. Now for this boss, there are three different types. There is a priest, which is called High Priest Thikau. Another one, which is a shaman type. He is called Zelot Lorcan. And a third type, which is a rogue called Zelot Zath. Now, the one you have to be concerned about is Zelot Lorcan. Not so much concern, but this is the one you have to start damaging and use Viper Sting on. Because if you try to kill one of them, eventually they'll just resurrect the fallen comrade again and if you try to take down some in low health take them down in low health then uh, Zelot Lorcan will heal them fully or heal them back up for a very high amount 
So what you have to do is send your pet in to attack them all and get aggro. Make sure you save Bestial Wrath because uh, Zelot Zath, which is the rogue, will sap your pet every so often. And when that happens, you need to have Bestial Wrath to pop out of it or feign death so that all the mobs go back onto your pet and not onto you. Zelot Lorcan will have a mana pool which is very slow to regen and it will go lower every time he casts a heal. So what you have to do is damage him and as well as damage other people whenever you can with multi shot and also place Viper Sting on Zelot Lorcan. And so what will happen is you'll slowly deplete his mana until his mana is so low that he can no longer cast a heal. And then what you do is make sure you turn off any AoE attacks from your pet and then attack each and every one of the boss mobs until they are at a very low health. I would suggest around 4 or 5,000 HP left. When that happens, AoE them all down or kill them very close within each other or very close uh, to each other's deaths. What you should also try to do during the fight is tab through each of the mobs and look to see if they have an enraged buff on them. If they do, just tranquilize shot it and get rid of it because if two or more of them have an enraged buff, your pet's health will start dropping very very quickly. So just be mindful of that. Phase 2 is very easy compared to phase 1. All you have to do is take down the tiger boss and all you have to do is just DPS he will cast or he will summon some non elite tiger mobs and you can easily tank them or just CC them or have your pet uh, aggro them and fairly easy take them all down and once you kill the boss loot it and if you're lucky you'll get the tiger mount which is about a 1% drop rate and that's it for the Zul Garub mount run Thank you very much for watching, take care and good luck!